for all for all for all things ATL. ATL for for everything Falcons. First to the end zone, touchdown! This is Peachtree Football. Now your host Dylan Matthews and Bo Morgan. Speaking of solid picks, Chris Lindstrom, he was a solid pick for the Atlanta Falcons, and now he's seeing the fruits of his labor. He got a nice, fat extension that was well-deserved. Now I believe the highest-paid guard in the uh, NFL. And CBS, they recently put out a top 10 list, and they ranked the top 10 NFL interior offensive linemen of 2023. Now, Chris Lindstrom did not make... The list last year, if you're wondering what the list last year was, I'll give it to you really quickly here. Number one was Zach Martin, a uh, guard for the Cowboys. Uh, two was Quentin Nelson uh, of the Colts. Three, Jason Kelsey, the center for the Eagles. Four was uh, Joel uh, Batonio for the Browns. Five, Corey Lindsley for the Chargers. Six, Shaq Mason for the Bucks. Creed Humphrey for the Chiefs at seven. Wyatt Teller for the Browns at eight. Joe Thune for the Chiefs at nine. And Brandon Sheriff for the Jags at ten. So, this season, we'll start from the top. Number one, not a lot of change there from the from the top guy. Zach Martin, still number one, guard for the Cowboys. Number two, Philadelphia Eagles center, Jason Kelsey. Number three, Joel Batonio, offensive guard for the Browns. Number four, Quentin Nelson, guard for the Colts. Number five, Creed Humphrey for the Chiefs. He's a center. Number six, offensive guard for the Chiefs, Joe Thune. And coming in at number seven, our very own Chris Lindstrom, obviously right guard for the Atlanta Falcons. But number seven, do you think that's a little too low for Chris Lindstrom? Is it maybe too high or is it right where he needs to be? Well, uh, I think when you look at that list, uh, the the first thing you're looking at from some of those guys at the top is the track record. I mean, yeah, Kelsey is, is a dude that's it, he's it, Kelsey's like fine wine. I mean, the dude is just, right. he continues to get better. I mean, he he gets to the second level and their wide zone schemes like a spider monkey. I mean, he's jumping all over freaking linebackers and he's able to pull and get he's able to do things from the center spot that not many people can do. Uh, Zach Martin, let's call it what it is. Zach Martin's is a first ball hall of fame. I mean, the, the guy, he's, if, if, he's not only the best guard playing right now. He's a, He might be the best guard in the history of the game. Yeah. Uh, you want to model your game at. Chris right. Lindstrom at seven to me. Now, Quentin Nelson's got four on the list. Quentin Nelson is yeah. a guy who really, he, he, all pro, all pro bowler, all that stuff his first four years. I think he yep. a little bit regressed last year. I don't know if there was an injury up here and there, but a little bit of regression. Mm -hmm. But all those guys have track records. And I think that's the one thing right. Chris Lindstrom battles on is he doesn't really have that long his track record. He's really what you think of as a pro arms of the world. Mm -hmm. Right. He's one of those dudes that really thrives at his own scheme. He's not right. a huge dude. I mean, he's going to be six three, three oh five. Uh he plays well inside that scheme. So if you get Lynch uh, playing the way he played last year, which I mean uh, I'm really big to great as far as pro football games goes, but I would say maybe his last seven games, he was a bummy as far as his grade goes, and even hit some nine fives along the way. Just locked down to have a year last year. So if you get that longer track <laughs> record at a Lindstrom, uh, yeah. and you and you really uh, see it for two years, he's only going to lie. I mean, that's going to be that's going to fall off. He's not a one off. He's really built for the long. He's gotten better in every season with the Falcons. Um, so when it's all said and done. He will be up right behind Quentin Nelson's of the world. Um, you know, look, I don't know that you're ever going to pass at this stage in your career the Kelsey's and the Zach Martin's first right. battle of fame. <laughs> exactly. uh, has the ability to be that, that next guy in. And he's, he'll be that guy that'll be in the top three or four in a couple of years if he stays on the trajectory he's at. So he, he's in a good spot. There you go. Yeah, hard, hard to pass Hall of Famers right about now, especially Chris Lynch too. I mean, he's still fairly... Oh. You know, he he's he's not a super old guy either. I mean, he's still pretty on he's still on the front nine of his career, you could say. So, but uh he, he'll like you said, he'll be up in the top three or four before you know it. And uh hopefully he starts to build that track record like you were talking about this season. Really shows that hey, not only did I have a good season last year, but this is gonna be a routine thing, and I'm gonna continue to have routine uh, all pro type of seasons and uh our football team, we're gonna we're gonna win a lot of games. So Mike. 
I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for hopping on. And uh...